All right, we are back. Either, neither, both. Not sure that's why the picture we used on this. Right. Uh, I love it, though. Don't really quite understand it. I'm only one guy. <laughs> it looks like you're saying both. I know there's a lot of me to go around, but I'm only one guy. Uh, either, I either, same, both. I was thinking the same thing. Like, what, are we going to Van Gogh me? You could have that here. You could have that here. By the way, real quick, I know we're supposed to do this a segment, but I just got news, Cody. Yes. You're going to be a very happy guy. Let's hear it. There's a kid named Ryan Terrell. Uh-huh. who just got uh, signed to the G League, NBA's minor league. For those of you who don't know what it is, he is the first Orthodox Jew hey. in NBA history. Let's go. So he's now in the G League, and if things go well, hopefully the Brooklyn Nets will pick him up. Let's go. <laughs> Mazel tov. That's awesome. As a, as a former Israeli baseball player, I'm thrilled about this. They, they, it says right here he's been referred to as the uh, the Jewish Jordan. He's not the Jewish Jordan. Oh, come Jewish on. Jordan played ball in the early 90s in Maryland. Uh, but it's okay. But maybe you heard it. I misheard, misheard, didn't hear me. I, I did. I okay, did. you did. You I, just, thought, I thought maybe you'd want to yell at me for that. <laughs> I was just thinking that maybe the Brooklyn Nets would pick him up. Of course. I, uh, I got but, it. I mean, you could check out their roster and figure out why. <laughs> Let's show a picture of me and put either, neither, both. Ladies, you can have at it. <laughs> Neither. Hey! Beautiful! Da, 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 da. It makes sense. All right, we're dancing the horror. Here we go. Um, the obvious choices for you guys here are either, neither, or both. Thus, the name of the game, either, neither, or both. Makes sense. Jets and Giants make the playoffs. Either, neither, or both. Greg Jennings. Neither. Neither. Oh. Oh, boo. I know. I know, guys. Look, it, this is tough, man. I just, at this point in the season, I mentioned it earlier. You got to have a quarterback. The Giants, I like where Daniel Jones is headed, but Saquon is all their offense, and he has not been what they featured, and he has not been what we've seen early in the season. When you look at the Jets, Mike White, they're, they're letting them get just – Folded in half. We saw he that. Did get folded he folded in half. You're in line. And so for me, I just the, the Chargers are over there. They have a quarterback. They're getting healthy. It's going to be hard. Yeah, he was like an Acme cartoon character <laughs> last Sunday. Uh, Cody, either, neither, both Jets shots. I think it's going to be the Jets. I think the Jets are getting okay. it. Robert Sala said it himself. We will see them again, and I think he's right. Yeah, a lot of coaches have said that. <laughs> right. Um, I think they both get in actually. All right, number Ooh. two. Tom Brady and Todd Bowles back in Tampa next year. Either, neither, both. Neither. Yeah, I'm with you, neither. neither. Brady's, oh, if Brady plays, oh, oh. and he may not, it ain't going to be for them. Really? And Todd Bowles is going to be the first coach fired, not named Kingsbury, after this year. Where do you think Brady's going to go? Because I think Brady's coming back, and I think he's going to come back in Tampa. No. No. There's no shot he goes back. No. Well, it's a shot. Because he's an unrestricted free agent. He'll go to a team if he plays that's ready-made to you. win. Just like when he got to Tampa, Correct. they were ready-made to win. So that could be San Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be a lot of teams, but it ain't going to be Tampa. He's done with Tampa, in my opinion. Okay. All right, number three. Current number one seeds, Bills and Eagles, to make it to the Super Bowl. Do either of them make it? Do both make it? Or neither of them make it? Gregor. Because the game's tough. called either, <laughs> neither, <laughs> or both. I'm going both. Ooh, wow. So you have a Bills, Eagles, Super Bowl in Arizona. Look at you. I mean, I mean, for the sake of this game, you asked me either, neither, so or both. So this afternoon, on first things first, you're going to change the answer? Well, no, not this afternoon. Because Nick Wright loves Kansas City? <laughs> no. Oh, Nick, oh, I think the no. Chiefs are going to make it. No. Uh, the, the Bills, I, I just like the Bills, man. I, 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 I've been riding with them since the season started. I'm not going to jump off that bandwagon, even though Von Miller is not healthy and he's not playing any longer this season. I believe Josh Allen is going to get back on the, on the rights. Like when it, when we need him most, yeah. and I said we because I need you, Josh. Uh, but as far as the Eagles, they're the best team in football. I don't think there's any doubt that the Eagles are the best team. If the Eagles don't make it as of right now, because to be fair, if the Eagles had a stumble at all, and I don't think they will, and then the Cowboys beat them, it would change the entire landscape of the postseason. The problem is that. The Eagles have shown you zero weaknesses. Correct. Maybe they're not great run defense, but they're good. They're just not the best run defense in the NFL.
but they're still pretty good. Yeah, they're they're more than pretty good. They're twelve and one. So. All right, here we go. Uh, New England Patriots offensive coordinator oh. next season: Patricia or Judge? Either, <laughs> neither. <laughs> Or both. Go I think we're going to hope. I, this is what I'm hoping for. I think Joe Judge is gone. I think Patricia will be back. Oh. Yeah. So okay. you're going. I'm going. Either. 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 With Patricia. Either. Got it. Gregor. Uh, I honestly believe it's going to be either. Oh, you're both nuts. Yeah. I mean, it's like you don't even listen to anything they're I say. They're to make show. the playoffs. Oh. Uh, and Listen, it's not. I don't. I'm with. I'm with you. Cole. They're not it's making not the playoffs, so and the, neither one of them are coming back in the same capacity. <laughs> if you told me Matt Patricia's still there, I could see it. <laughs> Joe Judge is Gonzo, and neither one of them are coming back to the offensive coordinator, especially when Josh McDaniels is coming back <laughs> for that job. You know, you know that. I mean, come on. He probably is. All right, Lions and Chargers make the playoffs right now. Chargers are in yes. as the seven. No, pardon me. Chargers are eight because New England won. New England seven, Chargers eight, Jets nine. So they're out right now. Detroit is out right now. Yes. They're both looking over the fence to get in. Yes. Either, neither, both. Both. Whoa. 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 Go ahead. Both. Sell me. Both. Well, again, I, I said what I said about the Chargers. They have a quarterback. They're getting healthy. I just believe in that team. Brandon Staley, just just hmm. stay out of the way. Yes. Uh, Stop going. Stop Detroit going. Lions are the team that nobody wants to play right now. Nobody wants to play. Their offense has, has been lighting up the scoreboard. I love what Jared Goff is doing. Uh, defensively, if they can get some stops, it, it looks like it doesn't even matter because their offense is going to put up points. I like the Detroit Lions and where they're headed. Let's go run the table. Uh, Cody, go ahead. Neither. I, as much as I like, uh, it's it, actually the game's not either, neither. It's <laughs> either, oh, neither. I've heard it both ways. Yeah, but, but, but right it's now, it's right, neither, neither, yeah. neither yeah. will be yeah. in. And I like everything you're saying about the Lions. I just don't think they're going to make it over the hump. I think they're going to run out of games. And the Chargers, as someone who's seen the Chargers play as much as I have over the last ten years, yeah. the Chargers always charge you. They find a way to lose, Here's, and they're uh, not making it. Uh, I'm going uh, to be the adult in the room. Uh, the Chargers aren't losing again this year. They're not. They have just like the just Falcons. Like, they have the Titans who are in a swan. You know, that's Tennessee at Indy. They're not losing to that clown nope. show. The Rams. Cooper Cup's out for the year, even with Baker Mayfield being the NFC Player of the Week. What <laughs> <laughs> a joke that and is. And then they with the Denver Broncos. I don't. I don't think the Chargers lose again this year. Wow. I think the Chargers are 11 and six and are locked in, easy to a playoff spot. Detroit, I think we I think we've fallen in love now. And I understand why. Campbell's yep. great. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden they're scoring a lot of points. Jared Goff's fiance is still hot. And <laughs> you know, I'm trying but we fell in love with them. This is they're not a great team and their defense stinks. Th- it does. This is the week for the for the Detroit Lions. If they can get by the Jets. Yeah, which is not going to be easy. I don't think they lose to the Panthers. I don't think they lose to the Bears or the Packers. All right, so you think if they beat the Jets, they win out? This, yes. All right. By the way, if they win out, they're going to be in the playoffs. Yep. 100%. I don't think it happens. I, I understand why we've fallen in love with them. It's a great story. They've played a lot of really close games. A bunch of their losses are by a touchdown or less. So I respect what Campbell's doing. Jared Goff is having... An amazing year. He's taken a no-name wide receiver core and made them household names. They run the ball okay, not great, Mm -hmm. but their defense is terrible. It's terrible. But I'm with you. If they beat the Jets, and I think the Jets put up a huge fight, and it's a great game. I I can see Detroit making a run. I just don't trust them to say that they're going to win four straight games. I'm not sure if they're that good yet. Yeah, I got to say it. I've already picked them to make the playoffs. All right. Uh, (laughs) Next one. Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury are both on the sidelines for the Cardinals week one next season. Either, neither, both. Cody, you go first. Neither. And that neither. is Cliff Kingsbury is going to obviously probably lose his job, and I don't think Kyler Murray is going to be ready to be back on the field that time, especially the type of game he plays. Yeah, I think it's going to be tough to get a top-notch coach in there with Murray out till about next December, but go ahead. Yeah, I think it's going to be either. Uh, Kyler Murray will be on the sideline. He will be dressed in clothing, not in a uniform. 
Um, oh, but he won't be naked, thank will, God. He will be wearing clothing. That is good to know. Just let because we've been talking about Miss Croatia. I just wanted to <laughs> Not make sure he's full be, circle. You know, Call back, um, nice. But for me, I don't think Cliff Kingsbury is is going to be there, and I think this job still is attractive because they have pieces. Um, offensively, you just feel like if I can get somebody to kind of bridge the gap until Kyler Murray's back, they'll be okay. All right, and uh, I, would, I would have given you a different answer a week ago. I would have said neither, but here's the reality. Cliff Kingsbury signed a five-year extension this year for a lot of money, like $40 million, $50 million. Kyler Murray is hurt. I don't think the Cardinals, A, are going to walk out on a five-year contract that they signed six months ago and try to bring in a brand new, you know, who's the hot, you know, new coaching candidate, knowing that that guy's going to come into a situation with a $200 million quarterback nursing a torn ACL. I think they're both back. Obviously, Murray's back. He's under contract. And I think Kingsbury's back just because. Did you see, see Cliff Kingsbury's eyes? During the game, like he looks like he hasn't slept all year. Yeah, but I, I'm the same way. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. He, I know that look. That look is stress. When yeah. He gets on that bus. I appreciate that. That means he cares. When he gets on that bus, yeah. he's, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna be here tomorrow. Why? You all right? No, Cliff. <laughs> Are you okay? That's Cliff. Now we want you that's, to come back that's tomorrow. That's what Cliff but is thinking. If you decide not to, all good. <laughs> Uh, you're a team guy. We got you. If you want to talk after the show, talk to Cody. All right. Baker Mayfield, Sean McVay uh, in L.A. next season for the Rams, specifically Cody. I think they're both going to be there. I don't think Sean McVay is going to TV yet. I think he's going to put another year in, and I think Baker will be there either as a backup capacity or they'll just sign him on to stay on. All right. Greg? I think they both will be there. I do. Okay. You guys don't listen. <laughs> um, Sean McVay will not be the head coach of the Rams next year. It's already been decided he's out. He'll be working at Fox, NBC, CBS, Amazon, YouTube, uh, you know, Uber. I don't know. But <laughs> Start his own podcast. He ain't going to be on the sideline of that team because he knows it's a train wreck going forward. Baker, yeah, if he has four great games, don't forget, he's also an unrestricted free agent. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. He may not want to stay there. I'll give you one more. Near and dear to my heart. Zach Wilson, Mike White, either, neither, both. 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 Wow. Why do you say that? Both. because Well, you're not going to get rid of Zach, what? obviously, because he's your first-round pick. Uh -huh. And if Mike White gets this team in the playoffs somehow, yeah. you're not getting rid of him. You're going to try to hold on to him in case – just so you can have an insurance policy on Zach, who you know you're not getting rid of right now. Well, I would say this. As long as Joe Flacco doesn't dress this week, because <laughs> that guy's done. And it, it will be interesting to see. You know, Zach Wilson, the last three weeks, has not dressed. Mm -hmm. He's been a healthy scratch. He's mm -hmm. not dressed. And based on how Flacco played last week and recognizing that Mike White took a beating on Sunday against the Bills, I'm not saying Zach Wilson's the answer. Clearly, he's not mm -hmm. right now. But if that dude, Mike White, gets hurt, I would rather go to Zach Wilson, who's at least more mobile, can get out of the pocket maybe and make some plays, than put that cigar store Indian statue in the pocket like Joe Flacco. Mm -hmm. He should never play again. And I agree on both. I think they're both going to be there. My question is, if they wanted to move Zach Wilson, do you think there'd be any takers for him? He's been a first round yeah, just no, a year somebody ago. somebody would take him for sure because no. there's only two years into the league. No. No. Pardon me? No. Really? Nobody would take no Zach Wilson. Take him. No. No. Have you seen what he's done? Somebody will take him. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.